Uh, hello, this is Ronnie from Old Timey Gospel Acoustic Lessons. I've got a uh, song here, Carol Bury Me Beneath the Willow. Goes back to Bill Monroe and all the greats. Old time song. It's got a good melody to it. And uh, I'm approaching 200 on my uh, 200 subscribers on my channel here. I think there's around 198 today, so uh, going back and forth a little bit, then uh, we should do 200. But anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, thanks for sticking with me and uh, following my songs. But anyway, here goes uh, a little um, a tune called uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow. Stay tuned after the video and I will show you the little solo part um, and you might get something out of that, uh, we hope. Tonight my heart is sad and lonely, lonely for the one I love. When will I see her So she will know where I'm sleeping and perhaps she'll wait for me. Well, anyway, and here's a little song called Bury Me Beneath the Willow. And uh, I will uh, try to show you exactly what I was doing there. I'm going to bring the camera down to the Mando Glen. And uh, we're in the key of G. And I am using these double stops right here. Uh, this is the... Uh, E string and this is the A string. So I've got a double stop there on the second and third fret. Sounds really cute there. And then uh, that's the G chord. There's no capo on this, so whenever I go to the C chord, I just move them up one. One string each. Take my finger off and go up here. Probably can't tell because it's flowing. But anyway, the um, my uh, finger is on the uh, D, second fret, and uh, A string, third fret. And then whenever I go to the D chord, there's only three chords that I got in here besides my little licks, my pentatonic licks that I will show you later. The only other chord I got is the D chord. You can make it different ways. And uh, the way I do it, 
you know, we got a C here. So, got the C here. So you just move it down two, and you got the D. And I put my uh, finger right here on the second fret, first string, which is the E string, just to fill it in. And perhaps you weep for me. So anyway, you can do a D this way, both second fret, top and bottom, or do it this way. Let's see. Trying to show you it's a little harder than sitting back all relaxed to do a D. But this is the D right here. That's the way I'm doing it. Finger on the first, and then the third, and then the second. Okay. So let's go ahead and first and then just uh, run down the, the chords to the uh, verse. Let's see. Tonight my heart is sad and lonely. See, I went to G, to C, and back to G. For the only one I love. I'm in D now. When will I see her? Oh, no, never C chord. G chord. Tonight she'll weep for me. Went to D and back to G. Then uh, here, let's do the... Uh, uh, course. I only did two verses, so the verses are the same each chord progression. And uh, I think the uh, the uh, uh, chord progression to the uh, chorus is the same, also. So bury me beneath the willow. Uh, I do it like this so I don't have to look at the mandolin. And you, it's basically the same right here as barring right here, the second fret. Or the top two. But I do it like this. Feels more comfortable to me. I've got my ring finger and my pinky and then my pointer finger on the first string. See, where was I? Let's see, um, the wind will... So she will know where I am sleeping And perhaps she'll weep for me All right, now we'll get to that lick. Uh, we'll get to the uh, little solo and the lick, which is, uh, I call it a uh, pentatonic arpeggio, and I'll say that later, but anyway... Uh, after this, the uh, the chorus, and perhaps you'll weep for me. And here it is, second fret, third fret, fourth. After let's see, second fret, third fret, slide into the to, to the. Uh, let's see. Slide into the first and the fifth. I mean the third and fifth on the on the third and fifth, the first string and second string. And then I'm hitting this string here, going back to the second row, and, and doing the uh, same thing on the uh, C chord, same chord shape, but no leading up to it. Second fret, open. Second to fifth. Second fret, this is the second time around. Open. Fifth fret on the um, D string. 
second fret on the uh, A string. D, five, four, five. Then I go uh, second. Two, five, two, five, three. That's starting in the D, the D core, uh, the D. Uh, just fast. Your hands is already in shape. But anyway, that's a little pentatonic um, arpeggio. And, uh,. That's pretty much it. Uh, bury me beneath the willow. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got something out of that. Uh, leave me a comment down below and see if you want to uh, learn another mandolin uh, song and little solo like that. I just try to keep it simple. Hopefully the, I explained it good enough for you. But anyway, I appreciate you all liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks and God bless.